Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do slaloms, chicanes, zigzags, whatever you want to call them. Basically, how to weave back and forth in between a series of flags. So, I'm in Velocidrone Football Stadium, uh, the HDRG OG Raceway Joe's SS. So we're going to hop in here. I've already flown over to this spot, and then I press L on the keyboard right here so that sets my custom reset point what that allows me to do is that if ever I get off track and let's say I crash out like this whenever I press R to reset I'm actually gonna end up um, back to my custom spawn point so that's kind of a quick tip if you ever want to practice a certain feature on a track and you don't have to be landing um, you can actually press L anytime you want and it'll set your um, start point there. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I've noticed on uh, some novice pilots doing whenever they approach this type of a feature in a track. So when they go back and forth, uh, they, they really swing out wide like this. While, uh, while they are in fact doing this uh, the weaving motion, uh, they're losing a lot of time because this is uh, not a very fast approach to this. Uh, the other, other thing I've seen is that they end up way too high above these flags. Some race coordinators really get on to pilots for, for uh, flying above these flags. So uh, uh, that's one thing that you'll want to keep in mind. You always want to stay in line with the flags or at least you know below them and in them. So that's, that's some of the, the common things I've seen on um, on kind of more newer novice pilots and so this video is aiming to show you how I do it and then you can take it for what it's worth and if it works for you uh, you might even find a, a better smoother way so um, so yeah here's kind of two approaches uh, that I've seen work really well one of them has a, um, a downside versus the other but both of them are, are much faster so we're gonna take off here and uh, this first method is my nose kind of tracks through the path, kind of like a normal turn where I'm using a lot of rudder in my turns. You can see that the quad stays relatively level through my turns and I go and I'm able to do my zigzag motion. Now, the more you can keep your quad close to the stems of these flags, the better. Uh, that's ultimately how you're going to pick up a lot of speed because there's less, um, I mean, basically it's just the fact that the, the shortest distance between two points is a single line. So if you can keep your quad going almost in a straight line, uh, that's clearly going to be the fastest method. So um, that being said, that's the first method where, where your nose points in and out. Um, you're, you're using a lot of rudder in your, in your turns, and you're able to complete this uh, zigzag. Now, of course, you can tighten this up, and I'm going to try to do that real quick, and try to increase your speed a little bit. So you can see, it, you can, the closer you get to these flags, oops, missed that one, the closer you can get to these flags, the better. Um, you're able to kind of stay on your throttle more. And you can see, I'm gonna, hopefully you can hop on YouTube and, and grab the little gear icon and slow it down if you're interested in seeing my stick inputs. But more or less, I'm blipping my throttle and then I'm using um, my aileron and rudder kind of like in my normal turns where they both go in the same direction. Okay. So that's uh, one method. Again, it's effective. I think it has one drawback though, depending on how tight you can hold the turns um, and how close you can get to these flags. I'll show you what I mean real quick. So if you're unable to get really close to the base of the flag, during this maneuver, I'm blind to my next flag. And so try to spot the next flag as I'm going through them. So you get blind to the next one. You can't actually see it. Okay. Now, obviously, you can remedy this. The closer you can get, 
to the bases of the stems or the base yeah basically the stem of the flag you can actually keep your field of view which shows the next flag in there okay um, but if you're not doing that and you're really still splitting this gap and you're not looking forward enough and you're swinging away from the stem of the flag you become blind to your next flag so I can't see that next one next one I'm blind I'm blind here so keep that in mind um, uh, focus on on hugging the stems of the flags as much as possible now this next method and I don't again I don't know if one's faster versus the other but they definitely feel a lot different <laughs> um, but this method is really just lining your quad up and then in a straight line and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna roll your quad through the gates so I'm a lot less practiced at this one but it is a method that might just work well for you and so all I'm doing is I don't have to use rudder whoop miss that one I don't have to use rudder uh, through the flags I'm just doing throttle blips and I'm just rolling my quad left and right. So as far as like a uh, stick and put um, way, it's it's more simple. You just go up and down and left and right. So up and down with the throttle and left and right with roll. Okay, so that is a very valid method. You can see the, the more the closer you hug the the stems the better now the what I think the advantage of doing it this way is that you never become blind to your next flag you're always able to see it right in front of you so that that may develop into being able to operate faster through these flags either way either one of these methods are going to provide you a, um, a much faster approach than the initial um, swinging wide over here right so we want to avoid um, doing things like this because it's not as fast however um, the only way you're going to get better at this is just through practice so hop on your sim or go out and set up some gates in the field and and just keep keep drilling these things well hopefully that was helpful and that you're able to um, find some time to go practice this because that's truly how you're just going to get better at it regardless of what method you lean to and you might end up kind of merging the two where you where you're doing both more more banking and rudder input just keep in mind that the way to get faster at this again practice but hug close to the stems of the flags and you're going to be good but not too close